My name is Joanne. My son, Daniel. He was the worst alcoholic I've ever seen. This is any parent's worst nightmare, and I could do nothing about it. God, I'm shaky this morning. Daniel is very talented. Growing up, he was always good at music. He loved doing it. You know, it's what he did best. And he was just really creative and could do almost anything. Danny was a very good artist in high school. He excelled at drawing. He's very talented. And I wanted to really become a cartoonist. And I did that forever. I traced, I stenciled, I, you know, started to figure out how to do it. He could have very well become an artist or, you know, a songwriter. All my spares on these beats, even more on these streets, I don't. The most important thing to Danny right now is alcohol. Walk a block down the street, grab a handle of vodka, and walk it back to my friend's house. He's just looking, searching for alcohol, and he will drink out of the same bottle with people he doesn't know. Before, I'm just at, I'm, I'm at a friend's house, so you're gonna come over and chill with my homies if you want to. It's like they're buddies, and they're not. Cheers. So when I drink a bottle, I get laughy, I get happy, or I get pissed. You know, it's, it's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of thing. Daniel drinks all day, every day, and marijuana on top of that, right along with it. Daniel was a very happy baby. He didn't really ever cry a lot. When he was born, I saw him in the hospital windows. He was smiley, little fist just moving all the time. Dick was Danny's dad, and they just loved each other completely. He took me out every day to like a movie, to the mall. They were very close, very, very close. When Daniel was four, I met my current husband, and it was a whole whirlwind of emotions for everyone. Early on, Joanne made it very plain and clear to me that she was going to raise Dan the way she felt she needed to raise Dan. I was little, and he raped me when I was like five for three years. And as I got older, I realized that it wasn't correct. That's not how life works. Well, I guess I'm gonna go uh, see my dad. I haven't seen him in a about a year, maybe. <clears throat> my dad's the best father figure that I could ever imagine. He never scolded me, because I never did anything wrong, because, you know, I was happy. change, you know, to the bathtub, needed help off the floor when he fell, whatever he needed, I'd be there. His dad just deteriorated right before Daniel's eyes. You know, I was at the hospital with him for weeks, and then we went back to his house, and I was holding his hand, and he died. I miss him. Hey, what's up? I was hoping that we could hang out all day. Yeah, I would. I don't know Sarah very well. I've only met her a few times, but what I know of her, I think she has an addiction as well. I'm not trying to condone your alcoholism or anything, but I did bring stuff to drink, so. I don't know. I forgot about that, actually. Here you go. Thank you. This stuff smells. Better than the cheap vodka you buy. <sighs> oh, hey, you gotta try one of these before they get warm. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. They feed each other's addiction. They feed each other's emotions. It's very sick. It's sick. What's making me mad is that... You know what's making me mad is that I have to get out of here. You know what's making me mad? I'm stuck in the You know what's There's a damn cameras and microphones around me. Oh, well. Stop. Oh, well. So I'll leave then. No, you will Stop, won't. dude. Stop, chill. 
Oh, Daniel. Yeah, you agreed to do this. Just stop right now, please. Because I'm about to f disagree. No, your mom's not doing anything. Well, stop. She's trying. No, you stop. It's like when I asked you to stop. You're going to piss me off and I'll walk out of here and break then something. Then walk out. No. Stop it. I just got off work now. I don't need to be treated like that or I'll leave. Okay. No, stop it. That's your mom, dude. Seriously, Daniel, chill out. Hey, buddy. We're here because we love you. <gasps> Where should I sit? I Between your mom and sister. <laughs> I love you so much. I and I don't want to watch you die. <laughs> Your alcohol and drug abuse. I have, I've watched you lose your friends and your family. I know. You've missed holidays, birthdays, dinners, get togethers. Because you don't show up. You don't even know how to show up. You know how this has affected me? Is that I take all my time for you and I have three other children that I love very, very much. And they need me too. But inside I'm dying. <laughs> so Daddy, you listen to me. If you do not accept this help today, I will no longer supply you with anything. Nothing, your phone will be shut off. I will not run around trying to find you a safe place to stay. I won't, okay? If you ever get thrown in jail, I will let you stay in jail. We will not be able to ever celebrate another holiday, life events such as Amy's baby, Christmas, you will not. I will not be there if you get married. No one will. You will lose me to depend on, and I am all that you've had. I love you. You become a Danny no one wants to be near. You become, you have became very angry and extremely intimidating. The hard drugs and alcohol take away who you truly are. The sweet, caring, loving, funny and smart big brother I once used to know. Will you accept this gift from all of us? Will you go to treatment today? Is that a question? Yeah. This has to happen today, Danny. Uh, this is really going to happen. I will walk out of your life. I know, Mom. Where's it at? In Arizona. What about Sarah? She's counting on me to be there today for her. Well, we're gonna take care we'll of that. We'll be there for her. You gotta, you gotta believe that we've got that handle, really? Daniel. We will. Yeah. Look at me. Look at, look at Zach. I know. I can't. But look at this. Go take care of it now for us, because we <laughs> love you. I accept it. Okay. I really mean it. And I'll do it, sis. You're gonna go right now. Yeah, I'll do it. You gotta go right now, though. <laughs> How am I going to turn all these people down? Everyone I love. I never thought that I would be happy sober. This has been the longest time I've had in probably over 10 years or more. And uh, it feels great. I appreciate you guys listening to my mom's letter and doing what you did. I might be dead by now. The way I was going, I was just going to drink and forever. But Sarah's got as much sobriety as I do. She'll have 90 days on Thursday as well. But she's got two jobs. She's got her own car. You know, she's been saving up money to move out here, get a place, and be out here with me. So that wasn't just some fly-by-night relationship. Are there big plans in the future? Yeah, we're going to get married. So now you can really have a shot. Yeah, because we still would have been... Correct. Drunk.